Hey everybody, Go Blue JD here. I'm here to do a review on a few CDO products. Um, one is the Inocell 3800 milliamp super extended life battery, as well as the surface case, which complements the phone when using the battery. Um, right off the bat, too, this is for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus LTE version and is not compatible with the GSM version as well as not having NF any NFC capabilities uh, when using the battery with this phone. Okay, um, first thing, I don't use the NFC. I've had the phone uh, over a month and I have not used it once. It's not that big of a deal to me. Obviously, if you need NFC, um, this isn't for you. However, if you need battery power, uh, this is for you. And then the next thing is, does it make the phone look ugly? <laughs> um, I was a little hesitant when I got this. And the reason, because I've seen so many reviews about, you know, how ugly this thing is, and oh my god, it makes the phone, you know, I wanted a thin phone, and I'm telling you right now, I put it on. Is it the most appealing thing? Absolutely not. I'm not going to disagree with that. But when you hold it, I can't explain it. It does not feel like it's got the extended battery in it. I mean it adds thickness but this isn't any thicker than my HTC uh, Thunderbolt was with the normal battery and let alone the extended. When I put the extended in that one I'm telling you it was bulky. You felt that you were using it but this I don't know if it's because it's not all the way you know around the phone it kind of just it nestles in your hand. I mean it does not feel like you have the extended battery in. I, it, believe me or don't believe me, I don't care. I'm just letting you know that's my opinion. It's not that big of a deal. Will I use it every day? No, I don't need battery like that every day. I need it for when, <coughs> excuse me, when I'm traveling to the airport, uh, on vacation. Um, you know, I have to go down to Louisville for business. Um, right around Easter, I will take this with me. Uh, I'll be in a Ford plant. I'm sure they're not going to have good battery or uh, good signal strength in there, so my battery will run low. I'll, I'll have to depend on this, but not every day. I don't need it for every day. I'm at a desk and around Wi-Fi at work and at home, and I'm always near a power source. So, a standard battery or the OEM extended, I, I I'm fine with. This is for when you need that extra power when you're not going to be around a power source. So anyway. Um, as I said, it's not the best looking thing. However, when you hold it, it doesn't really feel like it's there. It's got the standard, you know, little, I'll take this apart, you can see what it looks like. With the cover off, and the cover has, you know, the little oh, dog hair, sorry. Um, has little, you know, clips just like the other ones, so you throw that in. and it snaps in just like the other back does it's really good uh, here's the uh, surface case again I've done reviews about it with them uh, you have the same material in the case in the, in the back phone slides in it basically just snaps together all the way around you have the openings for your headphone and charger power on rocker volume this slot is to put like a coin in it to pop the case apart um, if you can see that it's kind of sloped for the opening so the camera doesn't get in the way or the case doesn't get in the way when you're taking pictures of the camera I believe that's a secondary mic I'm not 100% sure but I think that's a noise noise canceling mic um, speaker cutout trademark CDO embossed on the back um, like I said, when I travel, this will go with me, um, and when I need that extra power, this is what I'm going to use if I'm not around a power source. Um, I highly recommend this. Uh, again, this is not for GSM, it's only for LTE, and there is no NFC capabilities with using this battery with the phone. So, other than that, um, 
highly recommend it. I will post in the forums uh, exactly what kind of battery life I'm getting, but I can tell you I got the battery on Friday about uh, on 11 o'clock or so. It was maybe at a 50% charge. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I threw, threw it on a charger, and at like 9 o'clock at night, I took it off the charger, um, and that was like two hours or three hours past the full charge. Excuse me. Um, and then I put it back on the charger today, and it was, I don't know, it was about 10 o'clock, but I had to go somewhere, and I was like at 40%, I believe. Um, so I just, I didn't know how fast it was going to deplete through the first charge cycle, so I threw it back on a charger. So anyway, in the forums, I will post um, my thoughts on the actual uh, usage, but I can tell you it's double the standard battery. Um, I really don't care what it does. As long as it, it gets me through two days, I'm good, and I'm sure it's going to do that. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, Post any comments down below in the YouTube comments or at the forums I'm posting this at. And again, greatly appreciated. Thanks for your time watching this, and I hope I helped you out. Uh, go blue and take care.